Hey guys, Aaron here, and today, we're gonna look at the Ray-Ban Meta. We're gonna check out its camera performance, its battery life, some pros and cons, and of course, since this is an audio-centric channel, we're gonna talk about its audio performance from its speakers. Now, before we proceed, I've gotta make a disclaimer. The Ray-Ban Meta has not been officially launched in my country, Singapore, so I'm not able to access 100% of its features yet, such as its live streaming feature to Facebook and Instagram. Yep, that's currently a no-go for me. The Meta Vision app's also not available in any of the app stores in my country, not from Apple, nor from Google. So I've had to download the APK from a third-party source just to get this thing working. But rest assured, by the time it's officially launched in Singapore, I will come back to you with another video. Because by then, some new features could already have been added to the Ray-Ban Meta. So get subscribed and tap the bell button so you don't miss out on future videos from this channel. It's been a few weeks since I've got the Ray-Ban Meta, and I have to say that these are a game changer for me as a content creator because sometimes I do need to shoot some footage, but I also want both of my hands to be free. Usually that problem could be solved with say a GoPro mounted on my head, but that looks ridiculous in public, right? This one here is more discreet. It looks just like any typical Ray-Ban, except that its rims are a bit thicker. What was surprising to me was its weight. It feels like typical sunglasses, so it wasn't uncomfortable to wear for long periods of time. That being said, it would have been better if there was a way to form the arms around the ears to fit the shape of my head better. Because as an Asian man, I do have a small nose and it keeps sliding down, which meant that I had to readjust the Ray-Ban Meta often. So sad, right? Now, one concern I had was the camera quality. I thought since the camera was so tiny, it shoots only in 1080p and only 12 megapixels. Plus, there's only one on the left side of the Ray-Ban Meta. Its quality has got to be bad, right? But shooting pictures and videos with the Ray-Ban Meta, it does hold up pretty well in terms of stabilization. And when shooting in low light conditions, it controls the ISO balance pretty well so bright areas of the shot are not overexposed. Neither do the dark areas look noisy. Pictures and videos can appear a little more contrasty than I'm used to compared to, say, smartphone cameras, but its colors are more or less accurate. And the white balance is also not too cool or too warm, the Goldilocks region. But if you're shooting in low light situations, and there's no other source of light illuminating the scene, the Ray-Ban Meta will pump up the ISO, which results in noisy capture. Now, that being said, this has been improved after the most recent V2 firmware update, which is supposed to address this issue. As you can see, it appears less noisy on V2 compared to V1, although small text is just as unreadable. On future firmware updates, I do hope that Meta introduces an option to change the camera capture's aspect ratio. 3x4 works great as a compromise between, say, shooting for YouTube or shooting for Instagram and TikTok, because you just simply have to crop in a bit, but I should also have the option to shoot in whatever aspect ratio that I prefer, whether it be 16x9, or 9x16. What it does do very well is audio capture from the 5 microphone array. Your own voice as well as the voices of the people around you are captured cleanly and nicely. And there seems to be some noise gating also, cutting some background noise. So where are we going now? Home. We're going home. Up to 60 seconds recording only. Really? Yes. Then it will auto stop. Auto stop. Very cute. Yeah. It's a dragon shape. Dragon shape? Yeah, it's a dragon here. I can't tell. It's a oh. white dragon. <laughs> I see, I see. They actually make this kind of festive kind of cap. It's a fantasy dragon. It's just nice. But uh, yeah, it's a bit too heavy, though, the drink. It doesn't look very Chinese though. What do you mean? How about this? 
Thank you. So it's pretty good capturing video of you walking and talking to someone at the same time. But like you've just saw, when you're shooting with something you're actually wearing on your face, you've got to be mindful of things that might accidentally get into the shot, like hats or hair. Now, can you take phone calls with the Ray-Ban Meta? Yes, you can. And to the other party on the line with you, your voice is going to sound like this in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe noise and some wind noise from this fan. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Ray-Ban Meta. Background noise. And the wind. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Ray-Ban Meta. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. As you've just heard, my voice sounds clean and clear, and in noisy, windy conditions, the Ray-Ban Meta will do a great job at filtering out all that background noise. Another reason to like using the Ray-Ban Meta, you can actually use the Ray-Ban Meta as a pair of open-fit headphones, and you can expect them to sound more mid-range focused, so you can hear things like rich and clear vocals, fullness in the wind and string instruments in your music, but these aren't really designed to lock in the bass. So his bass response is actually quite poor. And because of the small drivers and their placement outside the ears, it's going to distort in the mids and highs with busy music. I'm talking about music with lots of tracks and are very fast. For those types of music, it's going to sound messy and disorganized. Adding on to that, in noisy places, you'll have to pump up the volume till about 80% or more to hear your audio well. Overall, they sound decent, but I don't expect to be using them for listening to music instead of my usual earbuds, which can be worn at the same time as the Ray-Ban Meta. But that's not a big deal for me, because in the first place, I'm not quite a big fan of open-fit headphones. Right now, my biggest issue with the Ray-Ban Meta is its battery life. Now, I shoot lots of videos on it, most of them at a 1 minute length, and every minute of video sucks around 10% of battery. If you listen to audio, you can expect it to be empty in a couple of hours, so its battery life is not too great. The case provides 7 more chargers, which is quite generous, yes, but I just hope that the glasses themselves could have lasted longer, so I don't actually have to take the case with me. But overall, I am having a lot of fun exploring what the Ray-Ban Meta could do for me as a creator, or just for capturing fun memories with loved ones without whipping out my phone all the time. I'm also quite impressed by its call quality, but what do you guys think about the Ray-Ban Meta? Let me know in the comments, and like I said, there will be more videos about the Ray-Ban Meta coming from this channel, so if you don't want to miss out on videos from me, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. I'm also on X where I tweet about stuff I'm passionate about, so do follow me there and click here for more videos from this channel. Peace.